Converting classic cars to electric power is getting more popular. We've featured several examples on fifth gear. The job always falls to Vicky for some reason. And they've been great, smooth, refined and powerful. But there's always been a problem. £80,000. £90,000. £250,000. Yep, ground-up conversions can be eye-wateringly expensive, but there may be an alternative on the horizon. I've come to a company in Bristol who might help make the EV revolution more affordable because they're developing simple bolt-on conversion kits to sell to car mod businesses. I'm meeting Chris Hazel, who founded the company and has fitted one of his kits to a modern classic to show me. So, Chris, this is your prototype vehicle, and this is an MX-5 Mark II, but this one has been converted to your system of EV. Yes. What? Oh, you cheeky blighter. This stands out. So I'm guessing the changes start underneath the bonnet. Can we take a look? Yes, let's take a quick look. Oh, 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 oh. That's your battery pack. Yes. And in my mind, I'm thinking, right, that looks like a heavy bit of kit. You've definitely had to upgrade the suspension on this to make it ride like an MX-5. Done nothing. But look at it. It's a big, heavy, metal-looking box. So you're saying that makes no difference? Makes no difference. And the reason it makes no difference is that Chris designs his kit to roughly weigh the same as the mechanical elements it replaces. And so one of your ethos is, is with this is, is not to make an insane, super-fast EV like we used to. You're still driving an MX-5, and you want this to be very comparable. Exactly. You want it to be drivable and the same weight distribution and balance as original. Um, as soon as you're going to stick crazy amounts of power for it, you've got to upgrade all sorts of other things, and it just gets really, really expensive quick as well. This conversion has added less than 10% to the Mazda's original weight, so no further expensive mods needed. So where are you putting chargers, all that battery balancers? Roughly there, so... Just behind the seats. Fuel tank area. If I was to buy these elements, what are we talking about on cost for this sort of componentry? For all the parts, you're going to be about 16 grand. £16,000 for just the parts is, of course, still a lot of money, but feels a bit more in range for someone like me. So what exactly is included in one of Chris's bespoke conversion kits? The first one I want to start with is the one that gives you your power and drive, the electric motor. This is a battery module. These all go together to form a battery pack, which is configured to fit your car. And you need two of these to give yourself reasonable range and also a battery charger. After that, to connect all of this electrical stuff together, a whole host of other wiring. The last thing is a new set of gauges. Around the workshop, there are various electric motors which will be used in future kits. But where do they come from, and how is the price kept so low? So these come from breakers yards all over the world. We spin them up, make sure they work. All stripped apart with new bearings, new gears, a new controller, and then we'll dyno test it to make sure it's Running perfectly as it should it, be. Yeah, before it goes back out the door to someone else. One of the things I was worried about is to fit all this stuff in, you've got to take a beautiful old classic and hack it about. But that's not the case, is it? Never hack it about. Keep it original, everything bolt in, don't change anything. It means it's fully reversible, keeps the value of the car. This is the, the, the start of this market, so things are going to evolve yeah. over the next five, ten years. So you want to make sure that the car is kept original so you can potentially upgrade it. So now I've got an understanding of how it all works, it's time for the important bit. Giving Chris's electric Mazda a good thrashing to find out if it does retain that fun MX-5 feel. From a handling perspective, it's spot on. And the weight distribution is just how it should be. I have my beloved Sunday driver car with all the reliability of EV, all the efficiency of EV, and all the fun of an MX-5. If you're experienced with high-voltage engineering, you could fit this yourself to keep the price low. Otherwise, for a professional install, it's 10K, bringing the total of the EV conversion to 26 grand. That is a big chunk of change, but think of the benefits. As every year ticks by, converting your classic car to EV is going to keep you driving longer, it's going to keep you having fun, it's going to keep that smile on your face. Right now, this might be just a step too far when it comes to the cost, but soon, this is gonna make more and more sense. <laughs>